New details are coming out about Derek Chauvin, the man that uh, allegedly murdered George Floyd on broad daylight on video. Um, he was charged with George Floyd's murder. Well, it turns out that in the process of negotiating a plea deal, before he was ultimately charged, that's according to CBS News, we're learning new details about the relationship between Chauvin and Floyd, who both worked at a nightclub together. Just listen to what their co-worker told CBS News. They bumped heads. How? It has a lot to do with, with uh, Derek being uh, extremely aggressive within the club with some of the patrons. You think he knew who George was? Yes. Any doubt in your mind that he knew who George was? No. No doubt in my mind. He knew exactly who George was. Let me tell you something. As the daughter of a father who works at one of the best defense litigation firms in the country, to find out that not only the victim and the accused knew each other, had history with each other. And there's more than one video of, remember, before George Floyd's laying on the ground with his neck down, we see allegedly Chauvin punching him. If there was bad blood here, you bump that up immediately to first degree murder. And that takes with you a life sentence. And that is what I think Erica and Al mean to be held accountable. Excuse me, sorry for that. How do you feel about that, Erica? <clears throat> We've been knowing. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I honestly I posted uh, my podcast two and a half weeks ago um, I was reading text messages that were coming in because I was trying to process my feelings along with people who were reaching out to me and one of the text messages text messages that I read said I'm so hurt I can't help but think that Floyd had something on that mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. and that was the speculation from the beginning we heard on MSNBC the day of the protest, the first protest in Minneapolis, that they worked in the same restaurant. I grew up in the club bar industry. Everybody who works there, especially in security, knows one another. Why? Because you have to, if something breaks, uh, breaks out, because you need to know who is from the outside and who's working with you. Good point. So the idea that they knew each other means that that was premeditation, in my opinion. Right, right. And this person, Chauvin, decided that he was the authority figure on the street, so he's been waiting for Floyd, in my opinion. Mm. But that just seems like a whole lot of common sense in my opinion, and that's just how it is, in my opinion.